Hi Pisces, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's my pleasure to read for you per the huge. As you also know, you don't have to have any significant Pisces placements for this message to be for you. And you don't have to be watching at the time that I'm publishing it for the messages to be for you. If it resonates, yay, contemplate, use your discernment and move forward. If it doesn't, take a step back, live a little, come back, <laughs> maybe a few hours, a few days, come back and then see how the energies have, have unfolded. And if you'd like to work more personally with me, you know exactly where to find me, um, Etsy. All right, so let's jump right in because the message is like ambling out of me. And actually I'm a little out of breath because <laughs> I just ran up my, my stairs <laughs> to get here. 44 minutes, 44 seconds. All right, guys, so I know I'm talking to some leaders in this group here because as I was turning on the outside lights and I started running up here, it came through very clearly that Pisces, you are going to be leading us in this next front. I don't know what the next front is, but energetically speaking, those of you who are uh, one minute, 11 seconds, I'm getting the words retrofitted. Ah, so got it retrofitted for this moment in time, whatever it is, you're going to be taking the stage one minute, 22 seconds. Now, when I say retrofitted, what that is referring to is your energetic space. They're laughing at me because, <laughs> oh God, sometimes we, you know, sometimes the word can be anoint, anointings on the in, on, in your energetic field, but they're laughing because, you know, why does that have to sound so religious, right? Whatever. But the point is, um, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, retrofitting is what they're saying. Yeah. So basically it's just that there are certain, oh, attunements. There's certain things in your energetic space, your energetic field that make, that are, that are, that make you, um, I guess, ideal for this next role. But I don't want to say make you ideal for this next role because it's very clear that you had those installed in order to do this task. So, <laughs> So what exactly is this task? Well, the way I'm seeing it, it almost feels like a, just like a whole bunch of souls uh, leading in front of others and literally pulling others with them. Like imagine, imagine all those chords, like pulling others with them energetically through some type of space, some type of... Um, Oh, they're saying quagmire, some type of quagmire, right? And you may wonder, well, why is it that Pisces are do is doing this? Well, first of all, these are collective readings. So if this message is for you, you will find it, right? Um, but a lot of you may have Piscean traits and talents is what I'm getting because the boundlessness, the, the uh, excuse me, the boundarylessness, <laughs> the lack of boundaries, the ability to be in the mist without the boundaries is kind of needed here. But I'm getting that it's not the wishy-washy kind of like, I don't know which way's up and which way's down kind of Piscean traits that are going to be used here. It's going to be those who are, are oh, they're saying the March hare. Okay, so 327. Oh my, oh my God, that's my birthday. <laughs> my birthday time whenever your birthday time comes around make a wish right but um the march hair what they're showing is that some of you will have already taken a deep dive is what i'm getting if you've been seeing a rabbit you know and if you haven't checked out checked out the aquarius um reading they talked a little bit about this uh this uh Anyway, that. Uh, but some of you have already taken this deep dive. There's a certain level of deprogramming that you will have gone through in order to play this role. So if you are still kind of like in the Kool-Aid, so to speak, then you would not be doing this. But you can trust that and 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 doesn't mean that you're down here in this 3D physical space like, oh, I know everything and, and the matrix is this. And that. It's not even about all of that because a lot of these designations are occurring on the other levels of your consciousness, right? So that's why from, from this 3D level of consciousness, I don't know if you remember, but the guides were talking a lot uh, not too long ago, a lot about learning when to curb the ego because ego, especially within the spiritual community, four minutes, 44 seconds will show up as spiritual significance. Like, oh, I'm so this, I'm so that, and oh, I'm the chosen ones and all of that. And all, and listen, 
you can literally be chosen for a thing or volunteer for a thing. This is a matter of semantics. But the energy underlying your attachment to that title is everything. And as you know, on this channel, we're looking not at the at the actions that you do, but the heart that motivates it. Somebody can totally be like, oh yeah, I was chosen or I volunteered for this or I'm willing to do this or I'm excited about this, I'm passionate about this. There are so many ways that you can talk about being connected to some role, right? But you have to understand that how you, how you choose to attach to a certain role and a description of a role is actually reflective more of where you are in terms of your ego. And there's nothing wrong with getting that little boost like, oh yeah, I'm doing something out here. But be mindful of that because, and it's not like a judgment thing. It's just literally when you have that kind of energy, you know, it, it's, it creates, it can create a little bit of a blockage sometimes for certain things that want to flow through. Because remember, the reality of it is that there is no special relationships. No one's better than another. And, and we just perceive of one being better than the other or, or more useful or more this and that because of the perspective from which we are viewing this thing. But when you are from a higher perspective, you understand, oh no, it's not like that at all. Because you think you're, you're seeing A and B down here. You're seeing A and you're seeing B and you're comparing the two of you. When you move into position C, then you can see A and B and then you can have a different perspective. But what if you're at position P, letter P, where it's all over the spots with, place with, with, the, um, with the perspectives and with your ability to see? Do you really think that you would have the same perspective at letter P that you have at letter A? So just to show you, ego, we want to watch that, right? Um, anyway, just wanted to point that out because it's coming up. And also it's getting a little, hold on, let me, oh, I was trying to race the sun. Okay, let me go. Oh, oh, how pretty. Okay, is it bright enough? Okay, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, interesting what I'm, what I'm getting. Well, look at the mood lighting, but you guys know if you've watched this channel long enough, you know um, spirit doesn't mince words. Once we get going, everything is... Um, being used in the space and I'm acknowledging here that it's almost like the room just got like a little hushed because it feels like some of you are going to be getting that tap on the shoulder and as you know you're going to know on some level what it is that you need to do so you don't have to do anything in particular to be in your positions but I am seeing here this is the eight of is it the eight of wands yeah because the energy is the eight of wands and the, and the energy here is almost like getting your assignments or getting energetic codes or getting information that you need for this place. Now, it's interesting that I'm getting Counter-Strike. I don't need to get into all of that because we know when we talk about Counter-Strikes, then we're getting into this concept of dueling and warring. And yes, from a certain perspective, there is a war occurring. But, you know, for me personally, you guys know I like to be more higher in the field and to look, you know, where there's more oneness, but it does serve us while we're in the physical to acknowledge certain things that are going on, but you don't want to get stuck there. Okay, that's very important for some of you here because I'm getting some of you here. I was going to say someone, some of you with the Pisces and, and then I was like, oh yeah, this is the Pisces, Pisces reading. So there's the Pisces energy again. Some of you are getting too caught up in the duality. In order to do this work, you have to be able to observe the narratives that are going on, but not as one of the people within that space, but from as a higher um, from a higher place in the field where you're observing things that are happening. You know, think about it with two bickering kids. Mom's not trying to get down on their level. Like, hey guys, well, B B Billy actually did say that. And Billy, you were right. And Bobby, but you, like, mom, what are you doing? What are you doing, mom? You, 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 you see Billy and Bobby going at it, but you understand Billy and Bobby are seven. You understand that in about 40 minutes, Billy and Bobby aren't even going to be thinking about who wanted the remote because they're going to be having pizza and they're like, you know, you can't be at that level. If you're at that level with Billy and Bobby, then who's leading this thing? That's the idea. So I'm getting that some of you are being asked to be mindful about how you interact with the D word discourse with the discourse of things down here, as well as how you react with what's happening here. 
right? And I do want to use this moment to use another D, disconnect from what you're seeing in your on your TVs and all of that stuff. You know, if you're still out there on that in that Kool-Aid mode, you're 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 not gonna this space is not for you, 10 minutes, 10 seconds, right? Because you're in the fakeness, the falseness. So in order to be out of that, as the guides were saying, I remember this, they kept saying it over and over and over and over and over again. Remember in the first few months of this year, you know, head back over to monthly readings and you can see all of that in, in my, um, on my YouTube playlist for the monthly readings. And you'll see that. What did they keep saying? You must get into the heart space. And they're, again, they're not like, oh, I love you and heart this and heart that. No, it's a frequency. We're talking about frequency. We're talking about attunements. We're talking about getting that heart chakra activated, right? And when, because when you get into that space, you're allowing higher frequencies to flow through you. And guess what? When, and this was one of the posts that we did. When the heart is activated, the eye, the third eye is filled with love. The issue is that if you are 11 minutes, 11 seconds, all up in the discourse and all up in the fighting and the this and your ego and that and I want to be right and you're not in the heart space. You're not truly seeing. So you have to get higher and it starts with having a divine heart because when your heart is online, then you're able to download these energies and then that energy can come through and go throughout the rest of your field, of course, keeping up with your shadow work, of course, doing your your regular energetic hygiene, right? Clearing your field, taking time out, watching your food, all this diet. Oh my God, I, <laughs> some of that fell off at the end there <laughs> for myself, but, but you see what I mean? You have to maintain your energetic vessel so that you can receive and so that you can attune and you can see because anyone and their mother can be out here having a, an open third eye having an open third eye is just like that you do it it doesn't mean that you're using it in a loving way these are just skills anyone can open these things right but the whole point is once you open these things once you you know retrofit your field for these things what are you doing with it are you allowing the higher frequencies of love and divinity and oneness to flow through you and to move you in alignment with the highest good of all? Or are you, you know, lording over people? Are you, you know, just um, engaging with all the, the mess of the, right? It's up to you. So this is one of the things they were saying. It's, it's not the actions, it's the heart that motivates it. Because literally people can do the same thing. Everything that all these great masters are doing, you know, out here, great masters can do it. You can do it. Everyone can do it. But the question is, um, what, what, what are you doing it for? Are you doing it to love yourself? Are you doing it to better the world? Are you, do and even that, bettering the world, right? When you're at a space of oneness, you understand that everything's perfect already. Everything's perfection already. So if everyone's sovereign on this planet and everything's perfect, then it's not really that, you know, your, 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 your perspective shifts. So then it's not like, oh, I'm here to save or I'm here to this or I'm here to that. It starts to shift to, hey, everybody, I'm choosing to kind of like, you know, fix my field, open up a little bit, see more of who I am, bring more of who I am beyond this world into my vessel, kind of live a more hybrid life in that way. If you're interested, you know, hit me up. Boink. It's not about a judgment thing, but I'll tell you what, if you get caught up in all of these wa war waging and the discourse and the, I'm from this place and that person's this and that while you're doing is seeding um i heard divorce yeah but seeding divisiveness so if you're coming in here to be peace then you must operate from a space of peace which is from the heart space and it's your job to to if that's what you desire it's your job to maintain an energetic field that can allow for that energy to, to flow through that's why we work on our inner work we do our shadow work and as the guide said in the beginning of this month, in this year, like a few couple months in, they were like, hey, for the first few months, if you don't have your heart chakra activated during the age of Aquarius, next 2000 years, that's what it is, throw it out there, you will not be able to tell fact from fiction. We're seeing it already. People are getting caught up. They can't tell the difference. We see it in our technology. We see it in the way people are acting, you know, so it's, it's time to uh, raise your frequency. All right.
God bless you and thanks, Pisces.